victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, church said amen. Victory belongs to Jesus. Amen. Come on, give Jacoby a hand. Amen. Victory belongs to Jesus. solo amen so be grateful unto god for everything that he has done amen we are um, praying for all of our um, our sick and our shut-in we pray for the family of sister mary kane who will be um funeralized on tomorrow here at uh, the church um want to keep Carl Carlton in prayer as he has been making all of the arrangements. Um, Pastor Timothy Brown will be doing the eulogy. Um, we are praying for others who have been bereaved and um, it just seems like continually I'm waking up finding someone else. Um, this morning I woke up and I haven't even had time to process that one because of just so much, so many things that are going on. But we thank God for what he's doing and for the work that he continues to do um, in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank you for those that are letting me know that you are watching us via Facebook. Um, and we do miss you all. Um, January 26th, I believe it's a Wednesday, uh, we will be having um, funeral services for Sister Ida Mae King that will take place here at Trinity also. The viewing will be at 11 a.m. and the home going service will be at noon. 
we would ask you that you would please keep the family in prayer um, for that funeral as well. We are um, the we had. I know there's some people that have been asking about the kits, um, but we did run out last week. They were supposed to give us 45 more, but the shipment has not come in. And so hopefully we'll receive that on this week. Uh, we're happy to announce that um, the people will be putting the floor in the basement beginning the week of the 25th as well. So that project will finally, finally be done. Or 23rd Psalm says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down on green pastures. leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table for me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. Thank you for your help. We thank you for keeping us. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for starting us on this day's journey. Thank you for what you So, Father, Jesus for the gift and the giver. We pr pr pray, oh God, that you would bless the offering, God. Make it useful for your kingdom. We ask these and all blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. All things are working for my good. That is intentional.
things work together for the good to them that love God, to them are the call that is according, called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that because of you, all things really do work together for the good to them that love you, to them that are the called according to your purpose. Father, we come for no other reason today but to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. We come today, O oh God, to bless you, to say that you are wonderful, that you are worthy, and that you are so good in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that the power belongs to you, God. Some may have a little power, God. God, but you have all power so we say thank you for your power thank you for God healing and delivering God, we know that can't nobody do us like you can so God we bless you today we honor you today we glorify you today we magnify you today oh God we thank you in the name of Jesus Jesus thank you for your finished work at Calvary we thank you oh Jesus for going to the cross and paying a sin debt that we could never pay so we thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit, our comforter, our power source, and our paraclete. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Now, God, I pray, oh God, everyone under the sound of my voice that you would bless, that you would comfort, that you would heal, oh God, that you would bring peace where there is no peace. I pray, oh God, that you would touch the man of God, that as he comes and breaks the bread of life, that you would touch him in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch every Everyone in the sanctuary, those who are watching, those that are in the parking lot, God, we need a touch from you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, your word says that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. So God, I plead the blood of Jesus right through here, right now. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. God, we need you today. We need you today. God, we need you today so God touch those who are sick those who are shut in those who are bereaved those who are out on the street those God who say I need I need you God in the mighty name of Jesus God so we give you the praise the honor and the glory and if you love them people of God say amen I need the oh I need thee every hour I need thee oh bless me now my Savior, I come to to Thee. I need the oh, I need Thee. Every hour, I need thee, oh bless me now, my Savior, I the Lord today. I need thee every hour. I need thee oh bless me now my Savior I come to to thee 
blessed assurance Jesus is mine Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine Here of salvation purchased of God Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day the church say amen amen psalms 121 psalms 121 1 and 2 psalms 21 1 and 2 says uh, very simply i will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which come my help my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth i will lift up my eyes Amen. I will lift up my eyes. Just want to talk a few minutes from this 120th Psalms. Amen. I'm going to lift my eyes up is what I want to talk about. Beginning with this 120 Psalm, continue to the Psalms 134. These Psalms are called Songs of Ascent. And they were sung by the pilgrims who were traveling to Jerusalem to keep the various feast days on the religious calendar of Israel. They were traveling to go and to worship God. They were traveling to show their appreciation for what God had done for them. They knew from experience that the God that they served was a good God. I came to say today that that same God that they served is the same God that we serve. God is good. I said God is good. God is good and every time we have the opportunity we ought to be able to tell God, thank you. We ought to be able to tell God, thank you for what you have done for me. The record is, and I'm talking about the record of all of our lives, is that all of us have a testimony. We have a testimony of how far God has brought us. We are living in a day and time where we are comfortable in our homes and it may seem as sometimes we don't have any worries, but can I say unto you that if it had not been for God on our side, that none of us would be here today. You do know it was God that woke us up this morning. It was God that started us on our way. It was God that put food on our tables and clothes on our back. And I'm sure that most people can give a testimony that there was a time when you may not have thought or, or believed that you were going to make it. 
There may have been a time in your life where you questioned God. Why am I going through these things? Am I going to succeed? Am I going to see another day? Is my family going to be all right? Is there going to be food on my table? Will I have a job? Will I be able to bring in some money to take care of my family? But the fact is that you are a testimony because you are here today that God has kept you. God has kept you when no one else could keep you. God has kept you even when you thought that you could not keep yourself. In this psalm, in this first verse, is something uh, uh, that is, I would say, a reminder to us of us to remember how good God has been to us. What is that reminder, preacher? That pre that it is very simply says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Where my help comes from. There, there are two things that I uh, see in this text. One is that every once in a while, you have to look back over your life and see what God has done for you. Is there anybody here that can say, I've looked back over my life and I've seen how he has provided for me, how he has taken care of me. Is there anyone that can look back over your life and say that I'm, I'm, I'm glad that God has looked over me, that I'm not. I've, I've had some things in my life and, and I don't ever want to forget where I've come from. Come on and help me somebody here. I, I don't ever, I don't want to forget the hills, the mountains. I don't want to forget the struggles that I went through. Can I get a witness? But at the same time, when you remember what you have gone through, remember also who it was that brought you through. Come on and help me. Somebody that brought you through. I just declare today that my help comes from the Lord. That's what David says. He says, I, I, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills which comes my help. Verse 2, he confirms where his help comes from. He does not say, I was smart enough and I made it on my own. He did never says, I had enough money and I was able to buy what I wanted to buy. He never talks about the house he lives in. He never talks about his family. He never talks about the substance of this world. But all he says is, my help comes from the Lord. Is there anybody here that can say without a shadow of a doubt, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me through? That's what he says. He says, my help comes from God. I know where my help comes from. I know from where my help comes from. I know from where my help comes from. All of my help comes from the Lord. Who is the Lord? He is the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I serve a God that has all power in his hand. I said he has all power in his hand. I don't serve a weak God. I don't serve one that is subservient to any other God, but I serve the almighty God, Je Jehovah, amen, Yahweh. I serve the God who made the heavens and the earth, separated the lands from the seas, tossed the stars into the, si the sky, made sure the sun shines by day in the moon by night. I serve a God, I said, that has all power in his hand. And because he has all power in his hand, then it lets me know that he can take care of anything that I go through. Anything that I go through. He says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And this is what he says, he will not allow your foot to be moved. He, he will uh, not allow, what is he saying to us? He's saying that God will keep you. God, not, no, look, look, God can keep you, but not only God can keep you, but God will keep you. Do I have some witnesses? God will take care of you. Is there anybody here that knows what it's like 
to really call on the Lord. I mean, not playing. I'm not talking about somebody that's just going through some words. But I mean, when you really had to get on your knees and you had to talk with the Lord and you implored him and you begged him and you asked him to do something in your life. And when God did it, come on and help me somebody. I'm talking about somebody that can be a testimony that God can do some things. You do know that God is still a healer. Come on. I know, I know that there's some folks that went in the hospital, they didn't make it. But there's some folks God brought out. There's some folks, and when I say some folks, some of those folks are we ourselves. We went through some things, but God brought us out. God made a way for us out of no way. God put food on our table. God put clothes on our back. And I want y'all to know that God can. And God will. He says he would allow your foot to be slumber, to, to be moved. God will keep you. And one scripture says that God will keep you in perfect peace. God can keep you when the wind is blowing. God can keep you uh, when the thunder, amen, crosses the sky and, and the lightning is flashing. God can keep you. God will keep you when folks turn their back on you. God will keep you when they look at your cross. I, I tell you, God will keep you. Amen. He, he who keeps you, and this is what he says, not only will he keep you, but he says that he never sleeps. He never slumbers. You know that there are some folks that they're, they're, they're supposed to be with you, and when you look at them, they don't fell asleep. Do I have some winning? Jesus had that problem with the disciples when he told them in the garden to watch and pray. And as soon as they began praying, some of the disciples even fell asleep. So you can imagine that sometime in your own life, there are some folks that say they'll be with you, but somewhere down the line, they're going to fall asleep on you. Can I get a witness? But I serve a God that never sleeps. That I serve a God that never forsakes me. I serve a God that never slumbers. And he says, behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. And this is what I'm trying to get across to you. And, and I don't have to be long to tell you this, is that the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your keeper. What are you saying, Hardaway? What are you saying? I'm saying... All you need is Jesus. And if you have Jesus on your side, that everything will be all right. The Lord is not only your keeper, but the Lord is your shade at your right hand. Anybody here know what it's like to have good shade? Y'all, come on and help me here. Some of y'all, amen from Alabama know how it is when the sun is shining on you. Do I have any witnesses? And the first thing you think about is, I better find me some shade. Y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Because shade is going to protect you. I want you to know that we have some real shade in our life. We have a God that covers us and protects us from the rays of life. We have a God that protects us and even when we can't protect our own self. And this is what he said in verse 6, that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. What he says is that I've got you. I got you no matter what happens in your life. I got you when you're up, but I got you when you're also down. And he says, the Lord shall preserve you. I wish I had a witness here. You, you got to understand what it means to preserve. Do I have any witnesses here? Do I have anybody uh, that knows about canning things? I wish I had a witness here. Yes, 
and knows that there's certain things that you got to do to preserve whatever you're making. I wish I had somebody here. Yes, uh, that, that, that God can keep you no matter what you're going through. That God will preserve you uh, from all evil. That you can go in, but you're going to come out looking even better. I wish I had a witness there. Yeah, when you preserve, sometimes when you open it up, it tastes a little better. God is so good that whatever you're going through, God will make you better. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he will preserve you from all evil, uh, and he shall preserve your soul. Uh, the Lord shall preserve uh, your going out uh, and your coming in. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, he says from this time uh, and forevermore. Uh, that means God will uh, take care of you uh, whenever you need him. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he's not just taking care of you uh, on yesterday, uh, but he's the same God uh, on today uh, and on tomorrow. Uh, that same God uh, will take care of you. Uh, that's why uh, we sing the song uh, that says, Walk on. Uh, by faith uh, each day uh, because when I walk in faith uh, I've got God uh, walking with me uh, I've got angels uh, that are all around me uh, that protect me uh, day and night uh, he's gonna protect me uh, forevermore uh, can I get a this? Uh, somebody said uh, how long uh, is he gonna be with you uh, they said uh, forever uh, and ever uh, is there anybody here uh, that know your God uh, uh, on time God uh, and he'll be there uh, forever uh, and ever uh, I don't know uh, about you today uh, but I'm gonna look uh, unto the Lord uh, he's the same uh, to Today, uh, he's the same uh, on tomorrow. Uh, God will, uh, I'm going to close now. Uh, God will uh, take care of you. Uh, yes, he will. I said, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Is there anybody here that know God will uh, take care of you? God will. I said, God will, God will take care of you. Keep looking unto the hills from where all your help come from. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens in the earth. That's all you got to do. 2022, keep looking unto God, who is the author and the finisher of our salvation. Amen, church. Amen, church. Keep looking unto God. God is able. I said, God is able. God is able. Lord, we thank you today for your word. There might be somebody here that just needs encouragement. They're going through so much. We don't even know. The fact is all of us are going through so much. But you're able, you're able, you're able, you're able. You're able, you're able to help us where we stand in need. Touch your people that are here. Touch your people that are listening to us that might be outside. Touch your people that are watching us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us. Bless us. 
we continue to give you all the praise and all of the glory in Jesus name and the church said amen might be somebody that's watching maybe maybe not in here but someone is watching that desires to be saved and the Bible asks the Bible tells us that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus believe in that heart that God has raised her from the dead thou shalt be saved we offer Jesus Christ unto you today we offer him to you. We offer to him. If you desire to be saved, all you have to do is what I've said. And you can let us know if you want to confess with us. You can always call the church, 716-285-0743. We pray that God will keep you and that God will bless you. Thank you, Trinity, for coming today. We thank you for your prayers. Continue to pray for all of our families. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We give you all of the praise and all of the glory. Pray that you bless and keep us. Oh God, we be so careful to give you everything that we have. We commit ourselves to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now go with us as we leave this place. Be with us, protect us from the dangers seen and unseen on the highways, byways, on the streets. Protect us from the bullets, protect us from cars, protect us from unsavory people. And oh God, we will continue to give you all of the praise and the glory. Now and forevermore, we pray for blessings in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen. God bless you. Pray that you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Please be safe knowing that there is a snowstorm that is coming. Stay very safe. Amen. God bless you all.